Hi, welcome to NPA teaching. As we discussed in the previous video that the quadratic equation is a polynomial equation in which the highest power of the unknown is 2. The general or standard form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a, b and c are constants and a is not equal to 0. Completing the squares is an algebraic technique means writing a quadratic equation in the form of a squared brackets or completed square form and adding a constant if necessary. One of the important application of completing square is a finding maximum or minimum value of the quadratic function. The plot of this function is a parabola. It has been observed that the graph of f of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c extend upwardly if a is greater than 0. Then the vertex determine the minimum of the function. In other case that is the graph extend downwardly if a is less than 0 then the vertex determine the maximum value of the function. Once again I am going to repeat that the quadratic equation is a polynomial equation in which the highest power of unknown is 2. The basic or general form of quadratic equation is f of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c where a, b and c are fixed numerical constant and where b and c can be 0. But if a is equal to 0, of course there is no x square term and it's not a quadratic. Then the terms with x to the first power and 0 power which is constant as c. So here ax square is the quadratic term, bx which is the linear term and c is the constant term. The graph of the quadratic function is a parabola. Here are the graphs of two parabolas are given and a parabola is characterized by its vertex that is the lowest or highest point of the graph which is the bottom or at the top. A parabola is characterized by its vertex that the direction in which it open up or down and by the steepness of the rise of its ends. The ends can rise or fall very steeply or the graph can be very shallow. The vertex of a, any parabola is either a global maximum that is the highest point or the global minimum that is the lowest point. It's a, it is the point where the slope of the curve switches from positive to negative or negative to positive. So the vertex of a parabola can be anywhere in the x, y planes. The roots of the quadratic function are the points where it crosses the x-axis where f of x is equal to 0. The shape of this parabola roughly look like inverted u-shaped when the coefficient of quadratic term that is a is less than 0 and look like u-shaped when the coefficient of quadratic term a is greater than 0. That is, if the coefficient a at x square is positive, then the parabola has a minimum and the parabola is opened upward. And in opposite, if the coefficient a at x square is negative, then the parabola has a maximum and the parabola is opened downward. Now the question arises that is how to find the minimum or maximum. In other words, how to find the location of the minimum or maximum in the x-axis and what is the value of minimum and maximum by applying the completing squares. We are going to derive the maximum and minimum value from the general quadratic term and it work in this way. f of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c which is the general term. Now we are going to restructure this general form and see here the first term ax square plus then multiplying and dividing 2a with the second linear term bx nothing going to happen when we multiply and divide a term with the same number plus 
Now we are adding a new term that is a into b divided by 2a whole square and subtracting the same that is a into b divided by 2a whole square plus c. Then the same step we are rewriting the second term as 2a into b divided by 2a into x and remaining terms are as like. Now here a is the common term and taking outside then it becomes a into x square plus 2 into b divided by 2a into x plus b by 2a whole square. Now we are going to close the bracket here and minus squaring the term it will become that is b by 2a whole square will become b square divided by 4a whole square where a a is the cancelled so it will become b square divided by 4a plus c. Now we are going to simplify these terms in the form of a plus b whole square. So you know a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So here a will become x and b is equal to b by 2a. So by rewriting or simplifying the above function, we can write a into, that is a is common term, so a into, then a plus b whole square format, that is x plus b by 2a whole square, where a is equal to x and b is equal to b divided by 2a, minus, by rearranging this term, it will become b square minus 4ac divided by 4a. So through the process of or method of completing the squares, the quadratic function became this format where the first term that is a into x plus b by 2a whole square is the full square term and the second term that is b square minus 4ac divided by 4a which is the new constant term. See here from this new form when x varies only the value of a into x plus b by 2a whole square changes. This term is equal to 0 when x is equal to minus b divided by 2a and if a is greater than 0. This means that when a is greater than 0, then the function f of x attain its minimum when x is equal to minus b divided by 2a and the value of f of x is then equal to c minus b square divided by 4a and similarly if a is less than 0 instead of greater than 0 now we are assuming that if a is less than 0 then a into x plus b divided by 2a whole square will become less than or equal to 0 for all of x and the square term is equal to 0 when x is equal to minus b divided by 2a hence f of x attain its maximum when x is equal to minus b divided by 2a. In simply we can say that if a is greater than 0 then the f of x is equal to a x square plus b x plus c has minimum at x is equal to minus b divided by 2a and the value of f of x is equal to c minus b square divided by 4a. And similarly if a is less than 0 then f of x is equal to a x square plus b x plus c has maximum at x is equal to minus b divided by 2a and the value of f of x is equal to c minus b square divided by 4a. Here I am going to find the maximum or minimum point of the given quadratic function by using the method of completing the squares and also going to discuss the shortcut method to find the same in the later case. So here we are applying the formula which, which are already derived previously to find the maximum or minimum point of the given quadratic function. So the given function that is equal to x square minus 4x plus 3 where a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4 and c is equal to 3. And we are substituting a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4 and c is equal to 3 on the given formula which we are already previously derived. So that is equal to a into x plus b by 2a whole square minus b square minus 4ac divided by 4a. 
So by substituting value of a, b and c here, it will become a into that is 1 into x minus b that is minus 4 divided by 2 a that is into 1 whole square minus b square that is 4 square minus 4 into 1 into 3 into whole divided by 4 into 1. So it will become x minus 4 divided by 2 which is equal to 2 whole square minus 4 square that is 16 minus 4 into 1 into 3 which is equal to 12. So it is 16 minus 12 divided by 4 into 1 which is equal to 4. So it will become x minus 2 whole square minus 16 minus 12 divided by 4 will become minus 1. So the expression x minus 2 whole square minus 1. This function, of course, we know that here a is greater than 0. So, given quadratic function has minimum. So, the minimum reaches, the function reaches to its minimum at the x is equal to 2 and the minimum value is equal to minus 1. Now, we can also solve the same quadratic function in another way. That is the function f of x is equal to x square minus 4x plus 3. So, in order to complete the square term, we are going to rearrange the function by finding the value of b by 2 whole square and add with the second term and closing the brackets there which is the complete square term and subtract the same from the third term or from the constant term. So here the x square minus 4x plus the value of b by 2 whole square that is 4 by 2 whole square my plus 3 minus 4 by 2 whole square. So it will become x square minus 4x plus 4 by 2 whole square will become 4 plus 3 minus 4 by 2 whole square which is equal to 4. So by adding and subtracting b by 2 whole square it will become x square minus 4x plus 4 plus 3 minus 4. Thus x square minus 4x plus 4 is the expanded version of x minus 2 whole square that is x minus 2 whole square is equal to x square minus 4x plus 4 plus 3 minus 4 which is equal to minus 1. So in this case by looking at the equation after we have completed the squares we can see that we will have the minus 1 term so we need to minimize the x minus 2 whole square term because its square it never will never be negative. However, we can make it equal to 0. So, x is equal to 0. Therefore, minus 1 is the minimum point or minimum value. From this example, the value of a is 1. That means the coefficient of x square term that is a is 1 which is positive. So, you will be reporting a minimum value. Here, the vertex is at 2 minus 1 and the minimum value is the minus 1. Consider another example that is the function f of x is equal to minus 2x square minus 40x minus 600 and we want to find the maximum or minimum point of the given quadratic function by using the method of completing the squares and here we are applying the formula which we are already uh, derived previously to find the maximum or minimum point of the given quadratic function. So here the value of a is equal to minus 2, my value of b is equal to minus 40 and value of c is equal to minus 600. And substituting these values on the given formula, then it will become minus 2 into x minus 40 divided by 4 all square minus 40 square minus 4 into minus 2 into minus 600 divided by 4 into minus 2. So it will become minus 2 into x minus 40 divided by 4 which is equal to 10 whole square minus 40 square that is 1600 minus my, uh, 4 into minus 2 into minus 600 which will become minus 4800 4, divided by 4 into minus 2 that is minus 8. So it will become minus 2 into x minus 10 whole square minus uh, minus 3200 divided by minus 8. Then if you solve this, then it will become minus 2 into x minus 10 whole square minus 400. So the expression that is minus 2 into x minus 10 whole square is attain its largest value which is at a minus 400. 
at x is equal to 10. So from this example, the value of a is equal to minus 2, so which is negative. So you will be reporting a maximum value. So the vertex is at 10 and minus 400 and the maximum value is minus 400 at x is equal to 10. Now we are going to solve the same quadratic equation in another way. That is the given function f of x is equal to minus 2x square minus 40x minus 600. Here minus 2 is common so for the first and second term so taking minus 2 as outside. So minus 2 into x square minus 20x minus 600. Then in order to complete the square term we are going to rearrange the function by finding the value of b by 2 all square and adding with the second term and closing the bracket which is the complete square term and subtract the same from the third term or constant term. So by here by b by 2 whole square is 20 divided by 2 whole square which is 10 square which is 100 and minus 6 minus 20 divided by 2 whole square which is also 100. So here minus 2 into x square minus 2x 20x plus 100 minus then 600 plus 200 why it is 200 here because here to minus 2 is taken alone in the outside so by uh, multiplying minus 2 into 100 it will become plus 200 so the expression will become that is minus 2 into x minus 10 whole square minus 400 so here x square minus 20 x plus 100 we can write in the form of x minus 10 whole square that is it is the expanded version of x minus 10 whole square is equal to x square minus 20 x plus 100 then minus 400. So by looking at the equation after we completed the squares we can see that we will have the minus 100 term 400 term. So we need to maximize x minus 10 whole square term we can make it equal to 0 so x is equal to 10 therefore minus 400 is the maximum point or maximum value. From this example the value of a is minus 2 which is negative so you will be reporting the maximum value the vertex is at 10 minus 400 and the maximum value is minus 400 at x is equal to 10. I hope you are clear about how to find the minimum or maximum value of a quadratic function by completing the squares. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.